Hi, Todd Warren here in the Forecast Center with a look at our weather week ahead, and it's a pleasant week ahead for the most part with not much as far as rain, just one little chance here towards the end of the weekend that I'll discuss here in a second. You can see the overall weather pattern. We still have the big upper level ridge here sitting over the western sections of the country. We do have the upper level low here across south, uh, southeastern and eastern Canada with a significant trough and uh, the winds between the two. You can see this north to northwesterly flow continuing to bring down the drier and cooler air into the Oracle text, keeping the Gulf of Mexico closed. And as long as this continues, we will continue with the relatively uh, small uh, and low rainfall chances. One thing we'll be watching is a disturbance that will be flowing within this flow, uh, basically a little ripple just like this one that will move through the region Sunday. That will give us our next best chance for some rain. In the meantime, cool as far as lows again tonight as we'll be in the 50s across pretty much all of the Oracle Texas. A few upper 40s possible across the northern sections of the area as we'll see 53 tonight in Texarkana, 54 in Shreveport, 52 in Natchitoches. Daytime highs tomorrow will be warmer as the sunshine will combine with the southwesterly wind to warm us up into the low to middle 80s. 84 tomorrow for the high in Shreveport. Same thing in Marshall. 83 in Texarkana and 83 also for the high in Minden. Not looking at much as far as rainfall through uh, the rest of the work week as well as the first half of the weekend as we look at Robbins Toyota Futurecast. You can see the clear sky across the area tonight as we go through tomorrow. Once again we'll see plenty of sunshine across the Arclo Tex with uh, that southwesterly wind again partially responsible for the warmer temperatures that we expect for tomorrow. Expect a mostly clear sky for tomorrow night. And another weak boundary will move through the area late tomorrow night and Thursday. That will uh, pause the warm up and actually bring down another uh, surge of reinforcing cooler air. As you can see, the winds shifting back to the north as we'll see highs uh, Friday and Saturday fall back into the 70s as we will see the continuation of the sunshine even though this disturbance will be moving in really does not have anything as far as moisture to work with worth to work with now, as far as the overall weather pattern you can see uh, again here's the impulse right there that will reinforce the uh, chance of uh, uh, cooler air and you can see that little uh, blemish Sunday. That's a disturbance that'll give us that chance for the shower Sunday. Some models a little bit more aggressive as far as the rain, but rainfall chances um, 30, maybe 40 percent in spots. But if you get some rain, not going to be much. Models persistently showing that rainfall totals will probably stay less than a quarter of an inch for all of the Arcotex here for Sunday. And then we'll dry out again for pretty much the rest of next week. So your seven day forecast looks like this, kind of up and down temperatures, especially uh, during the day as we will see uh, plenty of sunshine tomorrow, Thursday and Friday and Saturday. Daytime highs, low to middle 80s for the next few days. We'll cool into the 70s for Friday and Saturday. Warm back up uh, into the mid-70s uh, Saturday. And then you can see that chance of rain Sunday. And with the clouds around, we'll struggle to make it into the middle 70s. And then we'll uh, stay in the 70s heading into next week. Nighttime lows in the week ahead likely will stay in the low to middle 70s. And you can see, uh, for the most part, with that north to northeasterly flow uh, above us, as well as uh, on the surface, we will see very little in terms of humidity. Uh, at least for the next week as we will see this relatively dry weather pattern continue uh, into the second week of October and I'll discuss more on that in my uh, nightly live weather update this Tuesday evening at 830.